The United States v. Nixon, 1974, was a pivotal legal case that shaped the course of American history. It revolved around the efforts of the United States government to obtain crucial evidence in the Watergate scandal, a scandal that had deeply shaken the nation. The Watergate scandal erupted in 1972 when five men were arrested for breaking into the Democratic National Committee headquarters at the Watergate complex in Washington, D.C. This event ultimately led to a series of investigations that revealed a web of political espionage and cover-ups originating from the highest office in the land, the Oval Office of the President of the United States. At the center of the storm was President Richard Nixon, who faced mounting pressure to release the audio tapes that would expose the truth behind his involvement in the Watergate scandal. However, Nixon, citing executive privilege, refused to comply with the requests of the special prosecutor, Archibald Cox, and a congressional subpoena demanding the release of the tapes. The stage was set for a monumental clash between the powers of the presidency and the principles of accountability and transparency. As the legal battle unfolded, the case reached the United States Supreme Court on July 8, 1974. The court was tasked with addressing the fundamental question of whether executive privilege could be invoked to withhold evidence in a criminal investigation. This question carried immense weight as it struck directly at the heart of the balance of power between the branches of government. On July 24, 1974, the Supreme Court delivered its unanimous decision, an unprecedented blow to the office of the presidency. The court held that the president's claim of executive privilege was not absolute, and that in this case, the interest in fair administration of justice outweighed the need for confidentiality. Thus, President Nixon was ordered to release the tapes to the special prosecutor. The ruling had far-reaching implications, as it reinforced the principle that no one, not even the president, is above the law. Faced with the imminent release of the incriminating tapes, President Nixon chose to resign from office on August 8, 1974, becoming the first and only president in American history to do so. His decision to step down was a testament to the power of the law and the strength of the American democratic system. The resignation marked the end of a tumultuous chapter in the nation's history, but it also highlighted the significance of the United States v. Nixon case in upholding the principles of accountability and the rule of law. The legacy of United States v. Nixon reverberates to this day. It serves as a reminder of the importance of checks and balances in a democracy and the critical role of an independent judiciary. The case solidified the principle that even the president must be held accountable for their actions, and it further bolstered the authority of the judicial branch to interpret and uphold the Constitution. United States v. Nixon is a testament to the resilience of the American legal system and its ability to safeguard the principles on which the nation was founded.